Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of XCOM Multiplayer with me, the most, the most cute XCOM player ever. Thank you. So this this time we have a new squad again. Um, this is squad number nine, and it's a bit of a cheese squad. Um, in the sense that it's it's a bit of a deviation from uh from like um a lot of kind of medium soldiers. Uh, different classes, blah blah blah. I got the idea of this squad uh, playing to one of playing with one of you. Um, I I think he, that person is my subscriber anyway, unless they're just lying to me. Um, and so he was using this uh, kind of like this, not exactly this. I I I didn't really um, know what exactly he had because um, even though he asked me to like help test it, um, then he was reluctant to tell me what the squad was exactly made of. Um, as in, like, what items the people had and what exactly were their, um, or were their abilities, like, was it a smoke jumper or a medic, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, nice person there, but, um, so I tried to reconstruct this, um, uh, this squad to my best ability, and I kind of changed it a bit slightly as well, um, in the sense that I think he had, uh, three, um, humans and sector commander, while I have two humans, sector commander, and, uh, three sectoids. Because I do think that um, a number of guns um, changes a lot in the game, a lot more than, for example, having a one medium-ish soldier who has um, maybe a greater sum of hit points than three sectoids. Uh, but still, anyway. So um, the main, the the, uh, the main whatever the centerpiece, I guess, of this squad is not even the sectoid commander, but more um, it's more the the side guardian, which um, I will explain. If you don't know what he does, you probably know what he does. You play XCOM, right? But uh, you'll see him in action. Um, I'm gonna try and get a um, custom game uh, because uh, I'm I'm only just starting to test this squad and I'm not convinced um, about its abilities yet. Um, it, it has a lot of potential, I think, um, in its cheesiness. Uh, but we I'm I'm still um, I'm yet to find out uh, if it's actually versatile enough for a different kind of situations. So let's see. I'm gonna go with Boulevard because it's a small map. It's not it's kind of difficult I think to play on this one with um with the sector commander because his there's a lot of open space and he can be seen and he can be shot at and so on. Um so I'm just gonna go with this uh and two like because I think the test will be harder this way. Um and I'm gonna go with 120 seconds, even though I'm gonna to try to do it in 90 seconds, uh, to each turn in 90 seconds, because uh, a lot of people just don't want to play with you if you do 90 seconds in um, in a custom match. Um, so let's see if we can find someone. Okay, so we have Nadal 809 uh, who wants to play with us, and we'll get the first turn. That's good. And Nadal doesn't share um, very much of his information. Okay, so we start the game. Um, Let's take our scouts, which are these sectoids over here, and um, make them help us scout, I guess. That's kind of what they're here for. Okay, another sectoid. Another day, another sectoid. I'll take him over here. And this one. You know, let's just play like that. I'm just gonna take this guy over here, and then I'm gonna make him move over here. Um, I haven't. This is the first time I I play with uh, with this. I tried kind of kind of like with this squad, uh, with the same squad, but um, with a bit different combination, closer to what that um uh, the guy I was playing this with, where I saw this squad in the first place was doing. Uh, but that didn't really work out for me well, so I decided to go for a bit more guns because I just you know it's more fun that way. Right, so let's move them up here. And let's not forget our uh, guardian, who is... Without whom, um, we cannot talk about any victory in this game. But this is not also a regular guardian. I also gave him drugs, which is uh, my my personal twist. We did the guy I didn't use, I think, him uh, with drugs. He just gave him a lot of armor. But I think... Because bas drugs basically double the armor. Uh, that a character has, that a unit has. So you, if I had spent, I could have spent a lot more money. Um, well, let's say just the carapace armor. I would have spent six, um, 600 credits or 600 points and would only given him three additional um, health, whatever, the health bars. They would be permanent, yes. 
but by using drugs I get doubled under the amount of his um, hit points um, as opposed to just uh, whatever like 20% uh, permanent increase which I think would be should be more important um, but we'll we'll find out if that works out okay so obviously we didn't see any uh, movement let's slowly start moving these guys up this one I'm probably gonna move them yeah let's start with here just move them over here see if we can see anything Oh, he doesn't. So I'm not gonna rush anyone. Usually, probably you've seen that I usually um, rush my sectoids to just get uh, get the idea of who my play game playing against as quick as possible. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Um, instead, I'm just gonna go slow and uh, not let them find out what exactly is it that I'm fielding. Uh, and also with three sectoids, I'll get a much better view of the battlefield. Ah, oh, shit! I wish I could come over here. Um, no, it doesn't work either. That's it's just better than nothing. I don't think they will be able to shoot me here on their second turn. But if they are able to do that, then you know we'll just find out and I'll know it for the future. Okay, so I'm gonna position him probably over here, just so he's ready to take some mind-altering action. And also, I'm gonna take him over here, so he's ready for some mind altering action. And um, yeah, this guy's gonna gonna be kind of over here as well, I think. And everyone's gonna be in Overwatch. Probably gonna see some enemies this turn. That was a bit weird. Why did that happen? Does he see me and he's shooting at me? Oh, he went into the bus from the outside? Oh, we got a heavy there. That's good. I like controlling heavies. Come with rockets. And I love rockets. Ah, <laughs> uh, not necessarily... It's not necessarily gonna go well, but... Uh, that means they invested a lot of points into that guy. And if I manage to mind control that guy... Then I'll have a lot more chance of winning this game. Oh, hello. I don't even see him anymore. I missed anyway. Degraded the front of the bus. Oh, another shot. Another vehicle on fire. Okay, so they're taking... Is he an assault? Yes, he's an assault. So I gotta watch out for this guy. Maybe it's, it's gonna be even better to take him rather than control him rather than that guy. Well, let's see, he's quite far away, so when I, whoever I mind control from here, I shouldn't have any problems with... Oh, really? You're gonna shoot with a shotgun from over there? Wow. Um, shouldn't have any problems uh, in terms of, like, space management type situation. Okay. So, I, I'm guessing they have more units? Oh, hello. So they can see me from there now? Hmm. Come on, can we land one shot, please? No, I guess we cannot. Yep. Right, do they have someone else? It's the second player um, in a row today using chrysalids that I'm playing against. It's interesting, uh, maybe it's a trend. Maybe they buffed the chrysalids. Now chrysalids can grow wings and fly. Okay, no more time to waste here. Um, let's see if we can see anyone from here. Ooh, hello chrysalid. Um, so 62, 15, I don't need to shoot that guy. I need to shoot this guy. Please land the shot. Oh, you suck. Okay. Well, I really need to get rid of that chrysalid. Really, really need to get rid of the chrysalid. Oh, wow. Don't kill him! Ah, there we go. That didn't really work out well for them. Oh, there's another person over there. Interesting. Come on, can you land this shot? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so you are saying that you can see that guy over there, huh? 
I wonder who should I um, control first. I really need to get rid of the chrysalid. The chrysalid can fuck things up. Well, you know what? Let's just let's do something else first, because we don't have that much time left, do we? So I'm gonna come over here. And I'm going to mind control 95%? 95%. Who should I go for? I should probably go for this guy. Because then he won't be able to reach me. Alright, it's done. Don't have much time left. Um, so, is this the guy? Yes, he is. And I need to use the tele te telekinetic field. Yes, quick, quick. Okay. And I need to get this guy over here. And make him smoke. Smoke. Oh shit, I don't have time for that. Other sectoid, I talked for too long. Come on, come here. Okay, Overwatch. At least something. Let's see what we can do. He can he could use his um his rocket to shoot at me, but I do have a lot of cover now. So basically they do also also this thing stack up. So technically, uh, from far away, my guy should be impenetrable. Who is he shooting? The sectoid. Okay, that makes sense. So they got a sniper down there. Right. Um, so as I was saying, um, because of smoke plus the shield, it should be quite hard to hit them. But uh, hopefully, interesting. Well, see, I wonder if he was actually shooting at me or shooting to the side. So the crystal is kind of the problem now. Kind of, not really. So they killed two of my sectoids. I got their guy. I'm gonna. Try and kill that other guy over there. Who is shooting at him? Uh, well, I don't think the crystal is able to uh, kill my brain right away. Or shouldn't be able, anyway. There is no chance for him to miss, as far as I know, because it's melee. So, six. Okay. It's not too bad. I can live with that. Um, so, what I'm going to do, then, is... I want to finish this chrysalid as soon as possible. So I'm just gonna come up here. Sh oh shit, the chrysalid is on the 67. He may not even die. Missed. Okay. Oh. What can he do? Oh, he doesn't have running gun? Fuck. Anyway, gotta kill this guy. 89, it's not too bad. Okay, it's a start. Now, I need to move uh, him kind of further away. Before I execute any action with, uh, with the commander, I need to uh, make sure that the, his is dead. I don't care if this guy dies in the process, but that chrysalid must die. Okay, so melee threat has been thwarted. Do we not see anyone? Ah, oh, interesting. Well, well then. Well then, indeed. The fuck I'm gonna do now? Um, shit, I shouldn't have come here. I should have gone somewhere else. Why would I even do that? Who does that? Okay, let's let's just come as far as we can. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy over here and make him do drugs just in case. Okay, so situation is as follows. We got a guy here. 
We got a um, sectoid out in the open, cannot do much. Who is he shooting at? Oh wow, it's not a bad sniper. Well done there, I didn't expect that outcome. Okay, well the sniper send, uh, spent his turn and they have a sectoid to worry about. They have this guy over here and obviously my commander and the side guardian are still um, out and about. And that's two shots made by the sniper, so they only have two shots left. And they obviously took out the um, took out the sectoid, and the turn is back to is coming back to us. Um, really, can you kill him? I don't think. You could, yeah, I think you could kill him. But what we could do is we could come over here and do a bit of hiding. Uh, let's let's think. Let's think. Let's see what else can we do. What can he do? Oh, he's uh, he's got the thing now, right? So um, he's basically uh, immune to lots of shit. So because he's on drugs, let's make him come over here, maybe, or even over here. I think even over here would be would be much better. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna mind fray. Uh, this would kill him, right? This would kill this guy. But instead, I'm gonna mind fray the sniper because that's a bit more dangerous enemy right now. And that means the sniper cannot really shoot for shit. Um, and I'm gonna use this guy to. Oh shit, there's no cover anywhere. I'm going to use the Sectoid Commander, bring him up here again. So hopefully he will see... Oh, he doesn't see anyone. Can he grenade? He cannot grenade anyone either. So, oh, Sectoid Commander goes into Overwatch. Um, and he... Uh, it's, a, it's quite far away. Um, let's try that anyway. Nah, it's a miss. But he lost his cover. Okay, probably not the best way I could play the turn, but... Um, I guess it's okay. I think he's unaware that I did drugs. Over here. Yeah, mind fray worked and the sniper missed. Um, even if that heavy lands a shot, uh, ooh, sector commander takes a shot. That's good, good. Ah, uh, come on. This is what I pay for. I, I expect a bit more from you. Okay, so I, th I think yeah, I think we won this game. Um, they didn't have the, the best possible squad ever, um, but it wasn't the worst possible either. Okay, so that's three damage because of the drugs. I love drugs; they work every time. Um, so I cannot use mind fray anymore. But what I could do instead is wait. Let's see if uh, he sees them right. So he can use Mind Tray on him and see if that kills him. Pray the mind. Yes, it does. So that's game over there. Um, so I'm going to take him, take the Guardian, put him over here. Oh, who's that? Is another guy? Oh, no, it's the, the, the dying dude. Um, and this should be it. And it is it. Cool. Um, thank you very much for watching. This doesn't really convince me that this squad is, is like is, is good in every uh, every kind of situation. For one thing, I haven't really dealt with someone using a uh, uh, sector commander of their own uh, quite well. Uh, though melee squads could be a bit of a also could be a bit of a bit, a bit dangerous against um, uh, my build. Uh, so I'm gonna probably continue testing it. Maybe I'll film it um, as well and put it up. Um, but for now, I have to go because I have promises to keep and uh, miles to go before I sleep. So thank you for watching once again, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.